seems like the history of the business, it's like we have a, like the old amplifiers that used to be, I don't know, maybe they're still part of stereo systems, but the amplifiers, and I remember growing up we had one and there was like all these knobs and my dad would like make all these little minute adjustments on these knobs to get the sound the way that he wanted it to be. And from the moment I started this business, I feel like we've just been constantly turning those knobs. And so at one moment, you need to turn this knob and then that that is working really well. So, uh-oh, but now you need to do this knob. And it's this constant um, adjustment that needs to be made until the system gets to that next level. And so you get to that step and then now you start all over. Now there's new problems, new issues, new challenges, and you gotta go right back to cranking those knobs and getting them dialed in. Maybe you need to buy a new amplifier. Maybe your speakers go out. But it's, it's just this constant pursuit of the right, the right sound. So here we are starting off our day at BC Green Valley Court in Riverbank um, and actually this is the third project we've done for this customer. We finished their downstairs bathroom just last week and you can see here we're starting the master bathroom. Tim's starting to lay down the carpet and everything. Come on up. They want a sheetrock patch that way any plumbing reconfiguration we're doing, moving lighting, all that can get mudded and taped. Okay. And then we'll ship lap over it and then he'll come back the day after and texture. Gotcha. So this is day one, we're at about like 7.45 in the morning. Jake has already gone over what it's like to kind of go through this process of a day one start with the fuel guys. So he's already sat here, gone over the schedule with our crew. We have three guys out here to start demo. He's also gone through the data sheet, which is a vital part of our step. Everything is delineated here, uh, and everything from the door and drawer pulls that are going to be on this new vanity to what we're doing with this tub, which is actually going away. So all that he's already going over with the homeowner, I mean with our crew, uh, scope of work and all that jazz. So they're all filled in and now they get to start getting uh, tearing everything out. section for before immediately? Oh, uh, this is the one who was messaging us on Instagram. Really? Yeah. Is this the one that came through an Instagram story? This is, I know. this is hunting from the most <laughs> stone age perspective. <laughs> Scott Monday with Kitchen and Bath Crate. It's 11.40 on Monday morning. I was calling for your phone consultation. Would love to talk with you. Uh, I can be reached at 209. With getting for free, with the warranty on them. Yes, Carol, how are you? This is Scott with Kitchen and Bath Crate. I'm doing just fine. I uh, wanted to call you for your phone consultation and I uh, didn't know if you still had a couple minutes to do that. Uh, I like everything about working here. I like that I have a window that nobody else has. I get to see. It's just a parking lot, but I still get some sunshine. Uh, I love the people that I work with. Um, I love to see the jobs as they come through. I get to look at the before and after pictures. Uh, I love to see the jobs just go from beginning to end, so I don't get to go out to the jobs, but I like to see, you know, from the point that we schedule the you know, appointment with the customer to the time that we bill them, I feel like I have a little, my hand in the pot, you know, a little bit along the way. It's really cool. Yeah. Is this Jackie? Scott Monday, how are you? Hi, how are you? Doing fine. Does this time still work for you?
it. It's ready to go. Okay. But I'm thinking, obviously, you're mudding today. Tomorrow, you, you have Tuesday, Wednesday here to texture. So we shouldn't set that thing till the end of the day Not till or till end. Thursday morning, right? right. When that All right, gentlemen, we'll see you later. Um, you're good to be out of here today, right? Yeah. You know, like today, you go from a staff meeting where you're talking about the entire company to a job site where you're talking about the width of a shower niche, 18 versus 24 inches, and which looks better. That type of 30,000 foot view to microscopic view is really what I enjoy about the game, that constant balance. Hey, yo. Yeah, the shower, shower and then the door out to the exterior of the house. So, what we're looking for right now is we're looking for a countertop for a customer that's about to start the kitchen remodel in a few weeks. In fact, you're going to see probably in a couple hours, we're going to actually head to their home and do a design of their whole kitchen spread. But since my initial job walk with them and my proposal meeting, I've learned kind of a lot more about their style and the look that they're going for. It's a little bit more contemporary and more modern look. And one of the key aspects of their design is a white countertop. But the catch is they want something that's a little bit low maintenance, right? Everybody wants something that's a little low maintenance. And then also high heat resistance, which is kind of a catch-22. It's, it's a little more difficult to find something that can combine those both because granite is typically your solution for something that's high heat resistance, and then quartz is typically your solution for something that's a little bit lower maintenance. So we're trying to find something that would fit both of those. And Decton is a great solution, so that's what we've been looking for over here. Here's a great example of Decton. Lots of options here, there's a few white ones as well. So what we're doing now is we're just grabbing a few samples of that. And where we were coming from, as I take you back over here, is the slab yard. Trying to see if there's any good granite options in here because granite's a natural stone. There's so much variety, so you have to actually come and take a look in person at your local slab warehouse to see what they have in stock. This obviously, a lot of movement, a lot of grain patterns, and not white. So not gonna fit the bill, but we were just taking a stroll as we go through here, trying to see if there's some slab that would fit that bill that would work well, because the price point on granite is probably gonna be better than that Decton, which is a little bit more expensive, and uh, so that's what we're doing right now. The idea was delete this and this and do exposure shelving here, oh, potentially, okay. but we yeah. talked about exposure shelving over there. As of now, it's going to be delete this, uh -huh. go up like a chimney hood. Yes. And then